uh, today we will discuss um, database connection okay okay <clears throat> so far right like we are hard coding the data like a i mean when we are preparing any array list we are hard coding the data right mm -hmm. so now what we will do we are going to get some data from the database and we will display in our java program okay so how we are going to connect to database and uh, uh, what is the different uh, like how many databases we have like we have oracle mysql sybase db2 we have so many databases right right so how it will vary one diff one database from the database connectivity and what are the dependencies we have to use well okay and while connecting to database what are the steps we need to follow all those things we will see and we will try to understand okay can okay yeah, yeah you have any question mm, no mm, okay. actually if you could do it it's like a highlighted note just like lesser database just like a highlight from right note because okay oh you want to make some note or anything uh, on the side note it's just like a highlighted uh, yeah. i'll put it this i'll make a note that is fine also if at all if you want to make a note from your side also you can make a note i mean <clears throat> we will wait some time that is also not a problem okay let's suppose i will i also will make a note also if you want to if you want some time to make a note from your side that is also fine no problem you can make a note okay we can open your notepad or anything <clears throat> you can Okay, it's fine here. Yeah. Database connection. Okay, database connection. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so while connecting to database, right? What are the steps we have to do? So we have to write some sample the Java program, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. After that, we have so many database, correct? Mm -hmm. Like uh, Oracle, MySQL. DB2, mm -hmm. like uh, Sybase, etc. Like that, we have so many databases, correct? Mm -hmm. So, every database vendor, what they will do, you know, so they will, every database vendor, they will <coughs> provide a dependent jar, dependent jar. So, we need to get dependent jar. we need to get dependent jar from the vendor so who is the vendors these are the some of the sample vendors i have written right. say for instance if you want to connect from your java program to oracle so what you have to do we have to get a dependent jar from the oracle website from the oracle company yes from the oracle company or from the mysql company or from db2 or sybase so they will give one dependent jar to you so you have to add that dependent jar as part of your class path that we will see how to add the jar into your class path okay so after that what you have to do <coughs> so we have to open a connection so this is your java program correct and mm -hmm. this is your database so both are in different places and there is no relation between these two so far correct so this is your java program and this is your database okay now to connect to <coughs> uh, to get a connection from the database to java program what you have to do we have to write a piece of code so what are the steps we have to follow you know <coughs> first we have to load the driver class driver class meaning i told you right one dependent jar we need to add right so this dependent jar is having this dependent jar is having a class class means which will connect to database we have basically we have to create an object so 
that object will connect to this database correct right we have to create an object inside the object there are some methods are available if you use the method what it will do it will connect to the database and it will give you a connection to you a database connection okay before <coughs> creating an object we have to pass some information to that uh, method so what is that information what is the database url and what is the username and what is the password to connect to the database correct we need some credential right mm -hmm. so you are not able to connect to directly so first we need to load the driver class into the memory meaning we have to create an object and as part of the object we need to pass the arguments like <coughs> url so these are the some of the information required <coughs> dependent jars we have to get it after that what we have to do load driver or dependent class object object with the following fields following fields means you have to pass the url of the server and a username and password so these are the parameters it's required to connect to database where is the database location and what is the username and what is the password correct so mm -hmm. these are the some of the information we have to pass while connecting to database okay if everything is success username password is correct and url and the server is up and running then finally you can able to get the connection Okay, you will get connection. So now we have a database connection. So how to deal with that connection? Okay, now go back to this. I mean this program, this <coughs> picture. So inside the database, we have n number of tables, right? Right. So there may be so inside database we have so many instances. Okay, like say for instance, in one company, say for instance, company name is XYZ, so they will use one database server, correct? Mm -hmm. So inside the database server, there they will create so many instances, meaning, so this is one instance. In Under this instance, they will create thousand tables, or how many tables they want, that many they will create it. So this instance one will be used by project one. Say for instance, in the same company, there is another project is running P2. So they will create a separate instance called XYZ or something, whatever the instance name they want, instance name they want. Under that, they will create their own tables. But all these instances are available under one server. Right. Correct, right? But different types of the table, right? Correct, correct. Yes. Every project is having its own tables, correct? Mm-hmm. So they will create their own database name and under that they will create their tables. Correct? Right. So we need a database URL and we need our instance name. We need our instance name and we need our, our own table name to connect. Correct? Right. So these many details are required while connecting to a database. Once you connect to database, you will get a connection as part of the once you get the connection, then what you have to do, you have to pass the we have to write a database query. So how we are going to select data from the database like we have a sample query like a select star from employee. So what it will do, it will try to find out the employee table and the URL means server name, whatever you passed here. As part of the URL, you have to pass the database URL slash your instance name under which instance you are looking for tables correct we have so many instances here correct did you see how many instances are available so under which instance you are trying you are looking for a table so that we have to mention as part of the url so finally we will get a connection and as part of the connection we have to write so from which table you want to pick the data there may be n number of tables and one one and under one instance correct Mm -hmm. So, from which table you want to get the data back? 
So is part when you see the database connection is part of the ODBC connection, right? Yes, 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 yes. ODBC, JDBC, J, Java database connection. Okay. Okay. First, let me show you some piece of code. First, what I said here, we had to load the. First, we have to write a simple Java program. First, let me write our own Java program. So, this let me create a new simple Java project. So this is the DB connection. Okay, mm -hmm. this is a simple Java project <coughs> under that SRC. This is a simple DB connection, uh, a simple I mean, a kind of plain Java project. And under SRC, so far we have not added any new files. It's an empty. So let me add one new simple project. Sorry, class. Yes, let me give some package. Com dot test <coughs> so db connection manager public static void main so this is a simple plain class correct our java class is ready so now what we have to do <coughs> we have to load the vendor driver class vendor driver class like I said right so I told so many vendors right like Oracle MySQL Sybase right mm -hmm. every <coughs> vendor is having its own vendor every vendor is having its own driver class what is the purpose of driver so when they are designing the database what they will do they will create a simple Java class which will connect to, which will connect to that their database and which will give you a connection correct it's a hardware system, right? It's a network protocol. There's so many things is happening, right? So in that case, what they will do, the vendor people, they will create a vendor, a, a driver class, which is having some piece of code, which will connect to, to their database and which will give connection to us. So that particular vendor jar, we need to download it and we need to create an object for that vendor class. So let me show you. Did you see this? Hmm. You can see MySQL, Oracle, DB2, Sybase, correct? So MySQL is having a driver class name like this, com.mysql.jdbc driver. And Oracle is having oracle.jdbc.driver.oracle driver. Like that, every vendor, these are the vendors, right? Database vendors, correct? Mm -hmm. So every vendor is having its own, their own driver class name. So what is the purpose of this driver class by using this driver class we can able to connect to to their database so we are using indirectly this class to get the connection once if you get the connection you know how to deal with then we can able to manage ourselves we no need to depend on any others so this is the different driver classes available for different vendors maybe we will see one vendor we will take my skill Okay, we'll take MySQL as an example and we will connect to MySQL server and we will use this driver class and we will get the data. Correct? Right. It's a very simple basically, it's not a complex. And this piece of code you will get everywhere in internet. How to connect to database. Okay, now go back to so this is our Java class. First one, what I said we need to create it is we need to download the jar I said right we need to download the dependent jar from the vendor correct so to download the dependent jar right what you have to do you can go for new website for time being I will show you my SQL website so 
so we can go here you can download mysql from this website so this is one of the website where you can able to download the mysql server so mysql server is having latest version is 5.6 so you can download from this website mysql i have already downloaded in my case so you can download as per you want to windows or mac or anything you can download from this website in my case i have downloaded windows 64 bit in zip or comment so this one so you can download this you mean uh, <coughs> this exe file and you can install the first mysql uh, database in your machine after that you can able to start i mean using it so let me give this or else i can save here <coughs> So you can download <coughs> MySQL server from this URL. Okay. So once you download the MySQL uh, server URL, first you have to install it. After that, what you have to do, you have to download this MySQL database connection connection jar. So that jar look like this. It is there somewhere. Let me show you. Yes. If you see right, so this is the vendor jar. Let me copy. How, how, how am I going to get this? Yes, so this jar also you can able to download from the website as it is. Okay, let me show you from where I pasted. <coughs> when you are buying any, when you are downloading, right? So it, this, for every vendor, you will get in a different way. Say, for instance, if you are dealing with Oracle. So whenever you are downloading, installing the server, right? You will download the Oracle server and you will install in your machine, right? So when you will install the Oracle server in your machine, as part of installation, if you will verify, let me go installation. Yes, here. Let us see anywhere Oracle level G. Oracle product 11.2 server. We'll see anywhere lib. Did you see here? Mm -hmm. <coughs> <coughs> Did you see somewhere Oracle dot jar? Right there. Where are you? Little bit. Two more down. Okay. This one also. That one. Which one? Before this. Isn't it Oracle 8? Yes, 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 yes. Did you see anywhere? That, that one? That one was. OJDBC6. <laughs> yes. Oracle, Oracle 18N. <coughs> Where is uh, that? Uh, that's our fourth one. Number four, that one. Is it that uh, one? <coughs> Basically, you can use these any one jars. Basically, you will get these jars as part of your. Once you will install your Oracle, right? So you will see this folder. Program files are somewhere, correct? I used oh, okay. to install all the softwares under uh, <coughs> my. I mean, uh, D drive. I will not install in uh, C C program files. So when you will install, you will see the, this folder structure. Correct. So there you will see all the jars. Where is this lib folder? Or yes. So here you will see the jar. Correct. So these jars you have to use it. Only one jar is enough. OJDBC 14 dot jar. So this is your <coughs> vendor jar. So you can 
add this dependency as part of your project class path right click here properties java build path add jars add external jars and where is your uh, dependent jar mysql right so we copy it yes so this is mysql connector java <coughs> now we can able to call you can able to use all the classes here so in that way you have to download the dependency jar and you have you have to add as part of your so this is one way to get uh, this jar and second way is right i think we know maven right mm -hmm. maven did we discuss no nope, we haven't discussed anything. okay fine so anyway that is also it is there in your course list i will take one day class instead of downloading manually instead of downloading this classes this maven this all the database dependency jars manually <clears throat> so, so nowadays people are not downloading these jars like this so because we have to go to their website we have to download so if you will lose maven right so what is the how you are going to download these jars so click here yes so we are going to download by using maven just you have to take this dependency name and we have to add in your project palm.xml so that anyway i will give another example uh, when i when we are discussing maven so that time i will explain you how to download the jars by using the maven so nowadays people are using only this maven people are not downloading manually explicitly so that you will get idea right so that's what i'm giving some example by downloading the jars and some examples i'm going to give with maven with by using maven you no need to download the jars so you have to give this dependency name in your xml and it will download the jars for you hmm. same thing it's for every for all the vendors just you need to give this dependency name and it will download it for you okay this is maybe we will see later <coughs> for time being we will we have to download this dependency jar from the vendor website and we need to add as part of your class so now as part of class path i have already included this mysql dot jar mysql correction and 5.1.6 so this is the jar i'm going to use to connect to database correct okay. now our dependent jar is ready now under dip under that dependency jar we have so many classes so which class we are going to use so we are going to use this class com dot mysql dot jdbc dot driver so this is the package name and this is the vendor driver class name okay how we are going to use this one to get a connection so that is the question now so to load or to create an object class dot for name and we have to pass their vendor name what is the vendor driver class name so this is the class name so where this class is available this class is available under the jar so just now i have added one jar right mm -hmm. if you see this jar okay, let me did you see this com dot mysql dot jdbc dot jar <coughs> it is available under this jar correct right so that's what I included this jar as a dependency for our project. Okay. Now, what is the purpose of this class dot for name? So what is the purpose of this class dot for, for name? You know, <coughs> it will create an object for this class. Okay. It will create a singleton object, meaning, so if the, for, say for instance, <coughs> so the, the same class is using 100 people or thousands of people in one server we have one server tomcat server anything right so we are going to use another this server if people are trying to create this object again and again so what it will do so there all the people are connecting to only one database right so if there everybody is trying to connect to one database we no need to create 100 object right so right. one object is enough so that is the purpose of this class dot for name so it will create only one object <coughs> for all the people and all the people need to share this the only one object so it will not create every 
I mean, it will not create independent object for all the users. It will create only one object for everyone. So everyone need to share this object but because they are connecting to only one database, correct? Right. So that is the purpose of this one class dot for num. It will create or it will load and now this class into the memory heap. Okay. <coughs> and so this is a class dot for num this is a method it will throw an exception of type class not found meaning it is a compile type exception okay so we have to write try catch or we have to throw that exception okay so i'm going to write try catch so now that compilation error is gone okay now we have created an object for the vendor class correct now what we have to do we have to pass the database details what is the database details what is the url what is the username what is the password all those things right, <coughs> right. so we are going to pass driver manager dot get connection so these are the steps we have to remember so the first one is url username and password so these are the some of the things we have to pass so that username, password, all those things I can copy and paste. So this is my username, meaning server details. <coughs> okay, if you see here, right till here, my server details if you see the repairman what is this you know this is one of the database instance i created for my testing purpose under this repairman i created n number of tables so so okay. far this is the database url port number all those things and this is one of the database instance under this instance my own tables are available under repairman instance so like i told you right here every right. project will create their own instance and at that they will create multiple tables correct they will create a number of tables in the similar way i created my own instance okay so this is the server details now i'm going to give here username username is root and password is welcome so these details you will get from the db team so DB team will provide you these details. What is the username? What is the password? What is the port number? Where is that is located? Where is that uh, server is available? Port number or whatever IP number? They will give some details. So that three parameters we have to configure over here. Correct. So that is the. I think password is different. Sorry. So, so password is so this is the password so this is the username and this is the password and this is the our server details <coughs> so what it will do it will give you a connection to you see <coughs> it's a driver manager is a class it is available under java.sql package we are calling a get connection method get connection method will throw an exception of compile type did you see this it's so it's throwing an exception of sql exception so we have to <coughs> write one more cache block correct so right. i'm going to write one more cache block so we are going to write one more cache block to fix this compilation issues now our connection is ready so let me test whether connection is available or not first we will see the connection is we are getting connection or not after that we will see how to get data and all okay let me run this program Did you see this connection? We are getting some object, right? 
com.mysql.jdbc connection and some memory location meaning we are getting a valid connection statement so now we have a connection object <coughs> now we have to <coughs> connect to now we we have a connection object we are connecting to one particular instance say for instance how many tables are available under this instance so if you know any one valid table under this instance then we can able to retrieve the data correct right so now let me connect you to that particular database my SQL I want to see what are the tables are available in this instance mm -hmm. Okay. So I connected to the server. Now let me connect to what is the database name? Did you see any spelling mistake? R E P A I R repair. Looks nice. Looks good. Are you missing R? Yes, now <coughs> I connected to repairman. Did you see this database changed? Mm -hmm. So we have to type this command. Now I connected to my own database, correct? Now I am in repairman database. Now I want to see how many tables are available under my instance. So there is a command called show tables. So these many tables are available under my instance. Did you see this? Right. There is so many tables are available. Let me see how many records are available under this particular table. How to see that one? Select star from users. You see that user ID, name, password, and email. So this okay. is one of the sample table. I want to retrieve this data basically. So this data is available in in the under my SQL server correct now I want to see this data under my Java program clear right so this right. is my our table name yeah. yeah show tables right is it applicable for the all database same query <coughs> yes the day <coughs> sorry can you please repeat again um, for example there is like a IBM database there is a which is DBA2 Oracle database Yes, so yes. the query that you wrote in order mm -hmm. to retrieve all the table name, right? It uh -huh. showed, so is this same query works on all database or is just for specifically for this? Yeah, 90% are same, but the 10% okay. are different. Okay, so this, okay. All right. The so query is whatever I'm typing here, right? Select star from table name. So this query is almost 90% are equal. I mean, 90% is will be equal for all that. I mean, the vendors all the database queries but only 10 percent will vary from vendor to vendor so basically it's a separate course oracle so there i used to teach all the I mean, uh, queries how to write how to write how to create these tables how to insert the data how to fetch what are the different ways all those things but in this case we no need to care all those things just we have already some data we are going to retrieve some mm -hmm. we are going to retrieve this data in our java program Correct. So right. because we are not concentrating on how to create tables, how to insert the data, how to create database and all. It's kind of purely database people will take care. Okay. Correct. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but as part of our uh, different people uh, database classes, so I created these tables. So we will use that tables. Okay. Okay. So now we have a database name. Repairman is our database name. And uh, one of the table is users. Under this okay. users, we have three records, correct? Right. So I'm going to retrieve these records from our Java program. Okay, now we have a connection, correct? We have a connection is ready. 
by using this connection i am going to get some records from the database yes so for that see here i have written some query right did you see this mm -hmm. select star from users then it is giving all the records correct in the similar way in your java program side also you have to write a query string query equal to select star from users correct so this is our query right hmm. so this is our table depth so how to execute this query so in this case just directly i type this query and i press the enter then it is displaying the data correct right so but how to execute the same kind of query by using java programming language so we have a connection so we using the connection is this is co let me give here con okay So by using the connection, we have to get the statement. Okay. So by using the connection, we have to get the statement okay now we have a statement correct so what is the purpose of this statement by using the statement we are going to execute our query so statement is one of the jar folder that you have to write it in order to execute yes yes so where is your query so this is our query so what it will do it will give you a result set Right. So how many records you are getting from the database? So that many result set you will get as part of results. So by using the connection, we are, go we are going to create a statement. By using the statement, we are going to execute our query. All right. So whenever you, you are execute your query, so it will give you a result set. Result set meaning how many records you are getting here three right so we need to iterate this result set when we are iterating the result set how to iterate the result set so there is a while loop we can write chorus dot as next so i'm going to print so what is the column names here did you see any column names what is the first column name user id username password. password these are the column names right so by using this column names we are going to read the data okay so now let me read first rs dot get string what is the column name user id yeah, user underscore id correct mm -hmm. user so user a, id does it matter is because of the lowercase no it doesn't matter table column names are doesn't matter okay so only data is a case sensitive so header is not a case sensitive did you see this one two three right so these are the three user it is correct mm -hmm. now let me print let me print I'm going to print. What is the second column? This time I'm going to retrieve the second column is username, correct? Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to user name. So this is the second column. First column, colon, second column. Now let me run it whether I can able to retrieve or not. This is the first column and second column, correct? Right. Now I'm going to get retrieve back one more or last column. 
so what is the second third column password correct mm -hmm. now let me password so this is the third column so now print everything <coughs> so you will see username sorry user id username and password correct mm -hmm. so everything i am separating with colon now what is the last column one more column email so now let me get email also so here email <coughs> now let me run it Are you can able to see all the details correct it's very right. easy right mm -hmm. so how many number of lines you have written here it's very less number of lines only these things we need to understand we need to get from the correction <coughs> we need to get the statement so the purpose of statement is we can able to execute the query so you can write this query what is your table name what you want to retrieve what are the columns you want to retrieve so you can write it you will get a result set <coughs> from the result set you can retrieve what are the columns you want so it will it is a while loop right so how many records is that that many times it will iterate it correct right <coughs> once everything is done your usage is done then what you have to do you have to close the connection why because we should not open right connection it's unnecessary it's uh, if some if if everybody is opening the connection if they are not closing meaning it it may leak memory right memory leakage will happen correct correct mm -hmm. <coughs> once your connectivity when once your research is done <coughs> with the database then you can close the connection correct so that other people can able to open the connection it is fast for them correct if everybody is trying to connect to the internet so the internet will become slow right hmm. so whatever broadband connection you are using night time it will work very fast but daytime right it will take more time right? because everybody is connecting right all right if people are not connecting then it is fast for you if everybody is trying to connect then it is slow right in the similar hmm. way once your research is done close it immediately you have to close the connection Mm -hmm. <coughs> just a quick question uh, can yes. you can you query one more table just want to see yes yes i can i can there is so many tables are available okay let me give another table is user you can employee of o u p users group <coughs> so this are the users group okay and let me Query and more table like students. So these are the students table, student ID, course ID, student name, student address. Mm -hmm. And this I is to explain to them for when there is a Hibernate course as part of the Hibernate course I is to create some tables and when some people will join for Oracle or MySQL course, right? So I used to create these tables. Mm. I used to explain them. <clears throat> right now, Mustafa is joined in Oracle course, right? So like that people will join for Oracle or MySQL, right? For them, I used to create the table and I used to insert the data, how to create the table, what are the different ways to create and how to insert the data. So that I used to explain. So that demo examples only I'm using for our retrieval purpose. Okay. Let me execute one more table. Employee. So this is employee table. Employee ID, employee name, email, <coughs> EMP ID, employee name, some salary, all those things. Yeah. So uh, I just wanted to see. Can you yeah. write a query in a, uh, on the Eclipse? Just want to see because you have mentioned. I have to say the string again, right? A string again, query, and then yes, yes. This is the query. So you can write separately or else you can write this query directly here also. Yeah, so I just wanted to see because. Yes, that is also fine. Yeah, yeah tell me what you are asking. This is a query yeah. in our case. This is a, uh, this is a query, right? Yes, okay. yes, yes. Can, can you retrieve one more table together? Sorry. Yeah. One more. 
you want to retrieve one more table data yeah table data on eclipse writing a query okay in this case what i will do i will retrieve from student yeah that's fine i just wanted to see something how the <coughs> okay now this is done now i'm going to retrieve second table table data okay mm -hmm. so i'm going to write same piece of code so only here the query will change correct same connection we are going to use only the query i'm going to change what is the query what is the table i'm going to use student instead of users i'm going to use student okay correct? and then you have to change the id user id user correct ID. correct yes now when i'm uh, whenever i'm going to oh let me here right here student data mm, okay what is the column names here student so, id student id false id first is student id correct mm -hmm. student id after that course id and what is that student name no actually you, you are seeing the spelling yeah. mistake no it's i think it's fine we can verify it again okay and what is the third column student name right yep student name <coughs> student address so these are the <coughs> some of the columns are available under this result set meaning under this table correct uh -huh. now let me run it whether we will get or not right. so there is some problem student I data think course id code course id select star from student did you see any spelling mistake correct right uh, i response. think course id is, uh, has a mistake on the column name something wrong yeah c o u r c no c o u r c e course id c o u r c e c o u r c e oh. you uh, yeah c it should be c right okay no that is fine still it is failing that line number 32 yes yes the problem here is we are using new result set right oh okay right uh -huh. this is the one it should be good now well, because this is a new query right it is a new result uh -huh. set right Correct. Right? Mm -hmm. so let me run it yes no perfect right so you are getting all that it can nice. keep it here you can see here student id course id student name hyderabad bangalore bangalore delhi correct hyderabad hyderabad bangalore delhi delhi try 210 211 105 106 correct right if okay so in that way, you, yeah tell me you're telling something let's say uh, is there any could do on here is ascending and descending order yeah, yes you can you can say for instance now <coughs> this data is not in ascending order i want to sort the data by student address it should be in ascending order correct right right now it is not in ascending order it is hb it is not in ascending order right i want to sort the data while retrieving ascending order so you have to write, you have to modify your query order by order by okay ascending student right? address okay that's all so I have to do that okay yes that's all now the data will be in ascending order did you see this B D H correct uh -huh. okay the original data is not in ascending order H B D it's in some random order but here it's in alphabetical order right 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 okay Got it. So in right. this way you can able to sort the data so this you have to modify your query that's all and rest of the things are safe the Java program will not change only your query you have to write whatever you want data you want to fetch how you want to fetch the data what columns you want to fetch if you want to join 
this table with a different table and if you want to combine the data all those things you can able to just you have to modify your query only that's all it's clear right this database correction so basically rs this is the column names so you have to give as it is but it's a case insensitive so you just formatted right you yes just know i formatted the file that's all it's a control shift select right. everything control a it will select all the lines right after that control shift f okay format okay control shift and f then it will format the code in a different so it looks good right now yeah okay so yes. every time whenever you are writing the code write the code and before committing the code into the git or svn or anywhere right you have to format the code okay because if other people will take they will try to format the code correct right so say for instance you have not formatted the code you have committed the code and on top of your file i have included three more lines then i try to format the code then entire entire all the number of lines will be formatted right mm -hmm. correct right you got it right the problem mm -hmm. if you are yeah. not formatting if i will format then i see there is so many changes correct Right, right, right. Because of that, I it's it's very difficult for me which line I which line I got modified. Right, right, right. So if you format and if you will check in even if I will format, it will not change anything. Correct? It's mm -hmm. already informatted. Mm -hmm. All right. So that way it it is good. Otherwise, people will come and they will ask why you have not formatted. So then we should be in a position to tell something. Yeah, there was a time that my developer lead was asking me to format the code. Yeah, yeah. it's a silly thing, right? No, because I was kind of changing my way. Just like uh, for me, I was, I was kind of re for readability purpose. I just put the the no, no, no readability. We have to format it. <laughs> okay. Maybe it is good for you if you are not formatting, but it's it's advisable to format the code. Otherwise, people will come and they will they will ask. Mm -hmm. Right. right. So in this way, we have to format. Otherwise, people, some people will always will check only this kind of things only, whether he formatted code or not, whether he given comment or not. This kind of comments, and they will check is there any <coughs> unused variables are available. Mm -hmm. They will check all those things. It's good to format the code instead of somebody is coming and telling. All right. True. This is clear, right? Database connection. Right, right. <laughs> and how to install this MySQL server so that you have to download from this website. This is a sorry, not this one. Did I given that URL to you? Um, you have wrote down the on that yes, notepad. Yes. Yeah, it is there, right? So you can download this MySQL server from this website, and we have to install it. Right. So then you can able to connect to the database and we can able to get the data back right and how to create the table i can show you for you so that it will be easy for you how to create the table so say for instance you want to create a table so i will explain you to how to create a table also okay create table So to create table, syntax is create table. table. What is the table name you want to create? Let's say for example, okay. Sample and Scott table. You can give any name, just I'm giving a sample table name. So ID, what is that? ID is a column name. What is the data type you want to save? You want to save integer. Mm -hmm. Name and what is the data type? So here we have a data type called varchar2 you cannot put the string okay there is no string here string means varchar oh okay so what so is for the, the database, it's a worker it's a string yes correct yes yes so when you said the hundred uh, i could put the hundred letters on there right yes maximum you can able to 100 cars okay as part of this right uh -huh. okay now this is a simple way to create a table copy this query and go back come back here and paste it here press enter and there is something is something wrong what is say 
there is a spelling mistake. Did you see here? Create T A B T A B L E. Correct spelling mistake. Now copy it. Come back here. Paste it. Press enter. Again, still some mistake. We have a SQL syntax six manual SQL syntax V A R V A R C H A R. Remove the two. This is a Oracle syntax. Paste it here. Press enter. Table is created. Correct. Right. So now I can I I want to see the table. So, so now if you want to see the data, select star from. What is your table name? Sample, sample. underscore. TAB so there is no data okay. just we created the table we have not inserted any data so how to insert the data so that is a second query insert into what is the table name where you want to insert I want to insert data into this table correct yeah. okay what are the values you want to insert one comma what is the name ABC correct so this is one simple insert query so copy this one and paste it here press enter so one row is inserted query one one row affected now if you want to see the data perfect right okay so now if you want to insert one more data Yes, go back here and modify second right here give here p q or press enter so no one more row inserted so two more rows is all right okay so in this way you can able to create the table and insert the data and if you want to solve the data select star from sample underscore tab clear right mm -hmm. so this is the way we can able to create the database sorry table mm -hmm. so now if you see here right <coughs> there is a repair man is a instance right mm -hmm. if you want to create your own database create database XYZ C R E A T so these are the databases are available in case if you want to create your own database C S I guess create C R E A T create database database name my skill repairman C R E A T create T A T oh, there is a spelling mistake. Create database database name correct. Now database X Y Z is created. So under this X Y Z you can create a number of tables. Got it right? Right. Okay. So now X Y Z is one database. Mm -hmm. It's like a repairman is one database. Now recently just now I created one database called XYZ so let, let me show whether our database now show D -A -T -A -B -A -S -E -S. so now XYZ is there correct right now use XYZ now I connected to XYZ database <coughs> under XYZ database how many tables are available if you want to see show tables no tables correct just now I created a new database correct right so if you want to create your own table the create sample table under XYZ copy this table and paste it here press enter so now this table is available under XYZ instance mm -hmm. if you want to see how many tables are available then click only one table is available mm -hmm. correct All right. so this is, you can able to create your own database and your own tables and you can able to insert the data mm -hmm. 
<coughs> disk <coughs> commands will vary from database to database so now here we're using use right mm -hmm. so this is mysql syntax for oracle it will vary so that and create table and insert data that is almost 90 percent is same hmm. clear right right <clears throat> so <clears throat> you can download this mysql server maybe you can share your screen i can help you out how to in, how to install it Okay. Because in my system, it's already installed, right? So it will not allow me to install one more time. Okay. So, so you okay. download this web. Uh, I think I had downloaded this while ago, I believe. I download can download it and yeah. I can help you out on this how to install it and how to create this database, how to create this username and password. Maybe you can sh share your screen when, when we are connecting next time. So then we will okay. see how to install it then you can practice it Why? because you need a mysql server right to practice correct right you need definitely a mysql server so just you share your screen you download you said you have already actually i have i actually have uh, computer classes and everything so i took that classes is database so, yeah, oh so. yeah which database you have uh, it's the oracle database i took that classes in college so so anyone is fine oracle also fine no issue yeah. Yeah, I had done that, so I kind of good at query as well. So yes, either you can use Oracle or MySQL, it doesn't matter. If you even if you're using <coughs> Oracle also, well, it will change. Yeah, the URL Oracle is dot JDBC dot driver. You will see here com dot oracle com dot oracle dot JDBC dot driver. The similar right. way I told you, right? The driver class. So right, right. Oracle dot JDBC dot driver dot oracle driver. So this one we have to change the first line and here the url will change right the url so, that I have okay so url will change and username and password like a system or a tiger or xe something like that oracle will use the the local host the the place that the uh, the software get downloaded right so yes it will change the entire thing will change as per oracle okay. jdbc colon oracle colon local host colon double five one two three something for oracle port number Okay. Is that is it compatible in a MacBook? Which one? Yes, yes. You, you had to download uh, Mac. Uh, <coughs> yes, yes. Mac. Uh, so this one, whatever I downloaded, right? It's a Windows one. Okay. So this is a Windows one. Okay. So now you have to download the Mac version. Okay. So this is all Windows version. Do you see this? Right. So when you are trying to download, you can download. It is for Mac. Meaning you can get here Mac URL you can download MySQL database download for sorry for Mac yes So Windows, 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 Windows. It's only for Windows. Mm, yes, I can see only for Windows. Mm, yes, you can download here. So you can select the it is only Microsoft platform. Mm.
Let's go into Oracle. Cloud service. <clears throat> yes, here you have an option, right? It's a Mac OS. Okay. So you can use this URL. Can I have so here we have you I mean all possible options yours is I don't know which one 64 bit compressor tar yeah. you have to download tar here correct right so you can download from this URL can you can you put it on the notepad so that I okay. yeah yeah sure okay. so we can put it here okay. so you can download from this URL and you can install it so nice. when you are once you install it when you are installing you can share me the screen why because there we have to configure your password okay so username is root is by default it will take root is a username and password you have to enter whatever you want so that is the only difference okay next 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 and it will ask please enter password so whatever password you are entering here so that will be useful while connecting to, to the database and password is sorry username is root by default so you, you, you cannot change this one okay so rest of things are same and this anyway we are going to create database after once your installation is done you need to connect to this terminal and you have to create database tables insert the data rest i can we can show that's not a problem okay okay so nice. try to download it and as part of next class we will install in your machine sure and i think one last thing uh, mm -hmm. i think yesterday you forgot to forward the note oh sorry i i will send today i have yeah. the document i will send it by today only as part of this video okay okay thank you thank you thank you very much thanks yeah bye